Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video guys, I am going to do an in-depth tour of my dressing room. Now this has been requested and I'm going to go through all of the bits in my shelving unit here and show you exactly what I've got, go through my, my wardrobes, go through my drawers and just show you what I store in my most favourite room in this house. So um, yeah, let's get into today's video then guys. Okay then guys, we will start with the most exciting part of the room, which is of course my display shelving unit. I will take you off the um, camera stand that I've got you on in a moment to show you a little bit easier because some of them are quite tall and one, I can't quite reach up there and two, my camera stand is not tall enough to show you up there. But I will go through these ones first and just show you these ones to begin with. So. We have got three handbags along this little section here. My first one is my beautiful, beautiful mini Lady Dior. I adore this bag. It is probably my favourite bag out of my entire collection, if I'm honest. It is beautiful. It is in the mini size. It is in the blush. I went for the mini rather than the small because I prefer the strap on the mini. So it's a chain strap and it's got this little bit here of leather just to make it a bit more comfortable when it is on your shoulder. So that is why I went for the mini and I do like little bags as well. So that is my mini Lady Dior in the blush. A beautiful, beautiful bag. And actually, you can get a lot more in it than what you would think, actually. I don't ever have any problems getting all of my bits and pieces in it. Next along here, I have got just a very sweet little basket bag. Very, very cute. Now, this little baby was from Amazon. It was £13.50, guys. It's brilliant. It's even got inside a little bit that you can kind of tie up to protect your bits inside the bag, so it's not quite so nickable because it is an open bag. The strap didn't come with it. This is a strap that I've just found off an old bag and popped on it as well. And I am going to get some little twillies. Twillies, I think they're called from Dior or from somewhere like that and wrap them around the handles just to give it a little bit more of a luxury edge to it. I have nicked that idea completely and utterly from Lydia Millen from her channel. So she got this bag and she has done the same thing and I thought that is brilliant. So um, I just thought I would pass on that a little bit of wisdom there. So yeah, really, really nice bargain bag there. And then next along, we have got my beautiful, beautiful pearl bag. I love this bag. It's quite big. You can get lots of stuff in it. It does come with a strap. We've got a face mask in there, lovely. It does come with a pearl strap as well, which I actually don't often use. And again, it's got a really very sweet little tie detail there so that you can protect all of your belongings inside the bag as well. But it's very sweet. I'm not sure it is in stock anymore. It was last year's. But yeah, very, very cute little summer bag there. Moving down the shelving unit then, we have got the next shelf. I have got a beautiful Gucci hat here. I'm not gonna take it off because it's really difficult to balance back up against there and it will take me a while to do it. But really, really beautiful Gucci hat. I love the ribbon detailing here as well in those typical Gucci colors. So that's a really beautiful summer hat. And then we have got my first pair of shoes in my shelving unit, which is a pair of LK Bennett wedges that tie up around the ankle. They are very comfortable and so summery. I love them. The only thing about the tie up with any kind of shoe actually that tie up like this is that it does fall down after a period of time. So you do have to keep retying it. That is the only issue, but they are such a beautiful shoe, it is worth doing the retie every now and again. Right, I'm going to kneel down here. So we have got my newest babies, which I said to you in my last video, I'm not 100% sure that I'm keeping it. And I'm still not 100% sure, but I did pop them on the unit because they are beautiful and they do look beautiful. But I have ordered the June ones that are very, very similar. And I'm going to compare them when the June ones arrive. But these are my newest edition, my Mew Mew, Mew Mew, I love saying that, um, sliders. Really beautiful. I mean, that 
detailing is just stunning and next to those I have got my YSL pouch bag or Saint Laurent I believe it is now and it's not actually called YSL anymore I believe it's called Saint Laurent so really nice pouch bag and I've just got the box behind it there as well right coming down to more shoesies down here I've got my Vita Grace pearl shoes here these are so beautiful and they go really really beautifully with the pearl bag that I showed you earlier. The only thing about these is that they don't stay on particularly easily, they are not all that comfortable but they are stunning so you can forgive them for that um, and you just need to, need to wear them to places where you're not going to do an awful lot of walking. They're lovely restaurant shoes or lunch shoes but yeah beautiful beautiful pearl detailing there. I mean it's just it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and then next across we have got another pair of Vita Grace shoes there you saw me unbox these a couple of videos ago um, and I put these sticky um, bits on the bottom of them from Amazon in the last video actually so these are lovely very very sweet really comfortable really flat perfect little summer shoes and then we have got my gorgeous gorgeous Nicholas Kirkwood loafers. I love these so much. They're, they're really nice kind of champagne gold colouring. Beautiful pearl detailing to the heel there which is just gorgeous. I've got a little bit of a running theme of pearls I feel. I do love pearls so um, yeah love those as well and I do place them on the shelf so that I've got one shoe forwards and one shoe back so that you can see the back of the heel because it really is the special part of the shoe. Oh I'm having I'm having to get lower and lower with you guys so last but not least we have got my boots and my Sophia Webster shoes. Now these are actually currently on eBay to sell. They are stunning shoes. I mean look at the wings. They are unbelievably beautiful but they are not comfortable for me anyway anymore. Gone are the days where I can wear heels that are that skinny. I can't do it now. I just can't do it. So they are a waste sitting in there. So I've popped them on my eBay with the hope that someone will give them some love somewhere and give them some wear that they actually deserve rather than just sitting on a shelving unit looking pretty. Pair of ankle boots, these I believe are just from Zara, really really cute lace up boots, I love these in kind of autumn time, they are, are ideal for that time of year. These um, weren't expensive at all, I think they were like maybe £40 or something like that but they were last year's but they do bring them back kind of year after year so I would check out the Zara website because you might find them on there. I also think they look like a pair of ice skates which I love, I really really love. And then another pair of boots down here which are my knee high boots, they're very comfortable because they've got a nice chunky heel on them and they're in a beautiful kind of off white ivory colour. These are from And Other Stories, I actually got them in the sale as well which is double bonus, we love a bit of sale shopping so um, that is my first part of the shelving unit. Oh actually I just need to show you the very top so I'm going to take you off the stand and show you the very top now. Okay so this is very high, this is up to the ceiling but I've just popped in this one because I can't really reach it to have usable bits in it like I've got here. So I've just popped um, little A and J that we had made for our wedding and we had on display on our wedding day and then there's just two deal boxes there as well. So this is the section that we've just done, ignore the ring light there, the lighting isn't very good in here naturally today so I have had to add in some extra lighting but that is the first section done. Whilst I've got the camera I just thought I would show you the other top two sections. So again I've just got some display boxes in this one, a Carolina Herrera one, uh, two Dior boxes, this is the Christmas special edition one, limited edition, I love that box so much, um, a Cartier box and another little Dior pouch and then on to the last high one we've just got a little floral um, arrangement there that I actually made, um, me and my friend made it together and then just a little picture of me and Jamie. 
I think I may have underestimated how long this video is going to be. I've been chatting to you for over 10 minutes already and I've done one section, so uh, bear with me. It might be a long one, guys, but you did request it. You did request it. Okay, moving into the middle of the unit then, I have got my Christian Dior book tote. I adore this bag so goddamn much. This is the one that I got in a shop in town. There is a second-hand designer store and it was just lucky we drove past at the right time and I managed to pick up this absolute beauty. So she sits on there because she actually doesn't fit in any of the other units. So she sits on there. And then here we have got my little tray display. Let me just bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, so here we've got lovely, beautiful, beautiful floral arrangement. That is from Artifact Flowers. I'm sure I actually unboxed that with you when I did a few of my house videos. Little picture from my wedding there. Selection of perfumes. And then I have got my Valentino blusher. How beautiful is that? It needed to be displayed because it's so stunning. And my Valentino lipstick there as well. All on this beautiful, beautiful mirror tray. Okay, coming on to the last section of my shelving unit, we have got my baby, my beauty, my baby. Now I know I said that my Dior bag is my favourite and she probably is, but this is a, a very close second. Actually, she might be my favourite. She is just stunning, is she not? She is my only Chanel that I have in my collection so far. I would like to add to my Chanel connection, but they just, collection rather, but they just keep increasing their prices higher and higher and higher. And it's like two or three times a year now they're increasing their prices. And it's just getting to be quite a lot of money. And I'm not sure really I can justify it. I can't, can barely justify this. So I'm not sure I can justify any others, but I do get the wear out of her. I do this thing price per wear where I kind of work out how many times I'm going to wear it and then you divide it by the cost of the bag and then actually it doesn't seem that expensive. It's a really nice way to cheat yourself into thinking you're picking up a bargain when you're really, really not. And then I've got the Chanel box there as well because it's too beautiful not to have on display. Moving down then, I have got my first ever designer handbag that I purchased. So I purchased purchased this on Jamie and mine, our honeymoon actually. It was in Vegas, it was the last part of our honeymoon and I had been eyeing it up throughout our honeymoon. So we went to San Francisco first, we then went to Hawaii and then we finished in Vegas. It was an incredible trip. And I first saw the bag in San Francisco. I then saw it in the Chloe, that was my watch, sorry. Then saw it in the Chloe store in Hawaii and then saw it in Vegas. And I had been eyeing it up and just thought it was so unique and so different. It's great because you can hold it via the um, bracelet here. You can even just pop it on your wrist like that, which is gorgeous. You can hold Hold it as a clutch, take the straps off, or you can have it as a crossbody bag as well. It is so versatile and it's really hardy. It's a grained leather, so it's a really hardy bag. Unlike this one, this is lambskin and it is not hardy. It needs to be very much looked after, whereas this one, not quite so much. It is a lot more of a hardy bag. So it is gorgeous. It has got some tarnishing, unfortunately, to the bottom of the keychain bit there, but that just shows how much I've loved it and how much I have worn it. So beautiful, beautiful bag there. It is will forever have a special place in my heart as being my first ever designer handbag. She never sits straight either. I normally have to spend 10 minutes getting her straight. Ah, that was okay, that was quicker. Okay, next we have on here a pair of, another pair of wedges. These are Castania wedges. These are obviously in black. They have a little V detailing here, which is super sweet and a really, really nice addition to it. Really, really lovely shoes. Same problem as the other ones, is the straps just fall down after a period of time of wearing them. But again, it is worth going through that. I love those. And I actually really like wearing black in the summer as well, or wearing a white dress with black accessories. I think that that is a really nice look. So I do get quite a lot of use out of those babies. Right, moving down then, guys. I have got 
a bag and a pair of shoes here. So I have got a Kate Spade bag here. This is gorgeous. This is so lovely. I mean, that bow on top, which is removable, you can, it's a little popper, you can take that bag off. But it's such a little special accent to the bag. It really is gorgeous, really, really lovely. I have never used this bag, I am ashamed to say. I bought this the Christmas before lockdown and it really is an evening bag. And obviously we just haven't been anywhere in order for me to wear it. So it's not been used as of yet, but it is beautiful. Lovely velvet detailing as well on the front there. Really gorgeous bag. And then I've got a pair of rose gold Valentino shoes. Now these shoes have seen better days. I'm taking them to be rehealed very, very shortly. These are my wedding shoes and I love them. I have worn them to death, hence why they need a little bit of TLC now because I have worn them so, so much. Really lovely story about my wedding shoes actually. It was just as I was kind of starting to really get into luxury fashion and enjoying luxury stuff. Um, I was desperate to get a pair of designer shoes to wear on my wedding day and I happened to be talking in classes about that and my wonderful, wonderful clients all put in some money in order for me to be able to buy a pair of designer shoes for my wedding. So these shoes are from my clients. I mean, how incredible is that? Even now when I talk about it, I get emotional because it's just so, so lovely, so, so kind of them. Okay, more shoes down here. We have got another pair of Valentinos. The most comfortable shoes on the planet, guys. Again, a nice block heel. They are ridiculously comfortable. I am actually looking to get another pair of these. They do a pair that is in the exact same color as my blush um, Lady Dior bag, so that is on my wish list, but super comfortable. I love those an awful lot. I have then got two pairs of Manolo Blanics. This is my first pair. I mean, they are beauties, aren't they? Really, really lovely shoes. They look great with a pair of jeans, actually, and a nice sort of tucked in white blouse or something. It's such a lovely look. And then my last pair of Manolos are some bla plain black slingbacks. They have very sweet little buckle detailing there as well. And yeah, they're very comfortable actually. Again, probably can't be worn for super long distances, but they are overall pretty comfortable shoes. And then moving down onto the last part of my shelving unit. I thought it would be easier to show you this ray round, guys. So on this one, I have got my pair of Jimmy Choo knee-high boots. Very, very comfortable boots. The heel isn't too, too high either, which is fantastic. My pair of biker boots, my church's biker boots. I love these to rock up a pretty dress. Popping these on, just give it a completely different look. And then I often will wear my Chanel with it as well, and I think that looks lovely. And then I have got some designer books there as well, just to give it a little bit of a designer feel. Jamie installed that plug socket there as well, which is actually pretty amazing. Okay, next up we have got my chest of drawers. Now this is a five chest of drawers. I'm not going to show you what is in all of them for the um, second drawer is my underwear drawer, so I'm not going to show you that, but I will spin you around now and just show you what I have put in the rest of them. Right, so in the first drawer, I have got this wooden little, um, I don't know what you call it, spacer thing, I guess, which I just got from Amazon. It's really, really handy, actually, and I've got lots of different bits and pieces. I've kind of got some face masks in there. These are all remote controls that actually um, control the lighting in here of the shelving unit. I didn't put the lighting on because it does make the camera flicker oddly. Um, these are the little um, shoe protector or sole grippy things that I've showed you. I've got some hair scrunchies in here, some belts, some jewellery, bits and pieces, and Jamie has his watch collection in here as well. And then moving over to this side, there's some more jewellery there, um, some dust bags, some sun glasses and my makeup bit so that is the first drawer the second drawer as I said is my underwear I don't think you need to see that third drawer here I've got again one of these spacers uh, there is normally some underwear in there but I've just taken it out and thrown it on the floor because again you don't want to see that and I have got my many many sports bras here I mean does anybody need 
quite this many sports bras. Clearly, I do. So they're all my sports bras. In the next drawer down, this is basically my work drawer, I have got all of my work tops in there. Again, lots of tops in there for work. And then in the last drawer at the bottom is all of my leggings. So my, I don't know, 20 plus probably. I don't even know how many I've got now. Pairs of leggings, quite a few in there anyway and then that is my little shelving unit so moving into my wardrobe so i've got three double wardrobes behind me i'm going to spin you around and show you it that way around because i think that will be a little bit easier but i've got a summer wardrobe a autumn winter wardrobe and then a wardrobe of bits and pieces with accessories and extra shoes extra bags because clearly i need more and all of those bits and bobs so i'm going to spin you around and show you those now Okay, wardrobe number one then. So we have got, coming from the bottom upwards, this is my swimwear and cover-ups holdall that I actually went through with you in my last video. So that just sits in the bottom of the wardrobe there. There's plenty of space in there to put bits and pieces. I could store some shoes and stuff in there as well if I need to at any point. Then we have got all of my spring, summer hanging clothes there really lovely bits in here i love this dress look at the print on that sleeve oh gorgeous and then moving upwards we have just got my folded spring summer stuff i don't know why that looks a little bit messy um, but um yes that is all of my folded spring summer bits and pieces up there as well so we can close that off i loved the mirrored fronts of the wardrobes there as well and the handles I absolutely adore I really do okay moving into wardrobe uh, number two again we'll go through the same we'll go from the bottom up now this is tends to be where I store presents for people so birthday presents Christmas presents I know it's August but I too tend to start buying Christmas presents for people now so this is kind of where I store those bits and pieces so that's what they are and then moving up here I have got my autumn winter clothing as you can see I much prefer spring summer fashion because I've got far more of it but that is my autumn winter stuff and the folded section which is actually a lot more than in the spring summer stuff so the folded section all of my jumpers and jeans and bits and bobs I think I actually literally own one pair of jeans but um all of those bits and bobs all folded up there so that is a wardrobe number two and last but not least, wardrobe number three. So I have got a shelving unit inside this wardrobe, um, putting in other bits and pieces. It's a little bit of a messy wardrobe, this one, compared to the others. But in the very top there, I have got my work jumpers, so my work sort of zippy-uppy tops and things for the cooler months. Going across, I have got my hats, my woolly hats and my scarves. Coming down, we have got more bags, summer handbags mostly, and then my summer hats, one well, my winter hats, so all hats thrown in there. And then we have some shoes that just didn't quite cut it onto the shelving unit. It is a little bit messy, but I need a bit more space really. And then at the bottom, there is what I store my hair stuff in, and the wires next to it is from my steamer. Then coming across, I've got spare hangers, a couple of boxes of bits and pieces. They tend to be my camera equipment, actually, and my YouTube equipment. My slippers thrown on top, probably should have tidied that up, and my headphones. And then we have got my winter coats there as well. Now, I can't not mention this beauty of a mirror here. So this is my full-length mirror that I take my pictures in and I tend to show you my outfits in. I love this mirror. The detail on it is absolutely stunning. It is just glorious, glorious detailing. It is from William Woodson Mirrors and actually they're not too pricey because mirrors can be very very expensive but this is one that actually isn't too too bad so um yeah i love this mirror an awful lot and i think it just goes with the room so perfectly 
and of course not forgetting my beautiful beautiful wooden stool with Alicia's dressing room written on it so this is for me to be able to reach the very top shelves in my wardrobe because they are rather tall and I do struggle with that sometimes and then just coming across here you can see my feet in the mirror this is a radiator cover really lovely one it was um, one that was bespoke made and it just goes again very beautifully in with the room and then obviously you've got the window there that looks out to the garden and actually then looks out to the beautiful fields beyond as well so a really lovely outlook for me when I'm getting ready in here all of the wardrobes were installed by Kingswood at Home which is a fairly local company it's a company that is in Henfield and I picked that company because it was a family run business and they did me a good deal basically and they did me a beautiful, beautiful dressing room. So I couldn't be more thrilled with it. I will leave their details linked down below in the description box. They do shutters as well. The shutters that are downstairs in our living room, they also installed those and we also couldn't be happier with them as well. So um, yeah, well guys, that is it. I'm knackered. I'm bloody exhausted after that. That is the full in-depth tour of my dressing room. I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, give it a good old thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.